Hi everyone, Bruce here. Bonjour tout le monde, merci d'être passé. On va regarder la planète Jupiter et un, un ovni, bien sûr, <laughs> ou bien un astéroïde. UFO or asteroid. Watch very, very uh, carefully. We're going to zoom up. Thanks for being here, everyone. We're going to zoom up to Jupiter and we see three of the moons right now. The fourth one's on the left. Check it out. Um, oh, you have to look carefully, guys. There. See that little flash? I bet not. You have to go back look at it again follow what I'm showing you here it's going towards one of the moons and underneath Jupiter no check it out there it is now say to yourself Jupiter is very big and if I'm seeing this object it's also very big or close right some may say no it seems to be in that atmosphere of Jupiter so that's pretty cool we're gonna see it again a bit closer and as we zoom in I think it's pretty cool to be able to see that. So th this is with the 14 inch scope without a zoom and without any filters. Now obviously we can get some seriously nice shots of Jupiter depending on which equipment we have, right? It's just all about buying and buying more and more equipment, but it will get to that soon. Look around, some nice channels are really getting some nice shots of Jupiter. That way I can concentrate on the moon because <laughs> that's where we're going right after this even though the sphere is almost now look carefully there's the flash even though the moon is almost full it's very bright hard to see the surface um, I did a pretty good job I'll show you what I what I got later so let's see that again that's way cool so there's something really close and did you see the flashing light outside of the circle yeah there's more than one object that's for sure and uh, by zooming in, by slowing things down, we can see some pretty cool stuff out there. Now I got some way closer shots of uh, Ganymede and also the other moons, but check it out. We'll zoom in really, really close. And I wanna show you that you will see lights around them. And uh, no, I don't think they're meteors or um, anything like asteroids. Just take a look and you'll notice it'll be at the top left of Ganymede here or this moon, one of the moons, and uh, you will, will, will see an amazing, a pretty bright flash. And I'll get a circle um, up on it for you guys. First, we're gonna zoom into it, and then you'll see the two flashes. And I will uh, get some circles up around them. So let's get in to see the atmosphere around some of these moons. I'm seeing flashes already. So the closer we get in, the more we can see some of those flash there on the left there too so of course you're gonna have to go back and analyze it but uh, check this out well that's quite the flash that you saw there that was right beside one of the moons, most likely Ganymede. So check it out as we're getting even closer. You're gonna see yet another flash that's coming up in a couple seconds. So let's go take a look at yesterday's moon of July 15th, 2019.
notice that there was a rectangle here between Aristarchus Creator and Copernicus and Kepler.
Thank you for liking this video and taking the time to subscribe and sharing it on other platforms. Houston, say again, please.